So here is the little card that came with my tiny FPGA BX. It's the front and the back. And uh, it's, it's this one right here. It's got an ICE 40 LP8K uh, FPGA chip in it. And I downloaded this great program called ICE Studio and uh, it lets you program an FPGA like you're laying out logic gates because it's really what you're doing but you can do it without using a, uh, a hardware descriptor language like VHDL or Verilog. So this is a, a six LED chaser that I put together and really quick it has as an input instead of using a clock I have a I, I made it so there's a button uh, a single pull level through a button that is an input. So this is the common, and then the normally closed is getting, uh, this is a, a pin normally closed, and that's pin number nine, uh, and it's getting zero, and pin 11 is getting one. So when I press the button, click, this uh, normally sees zero. When I press the button, click, this gets the one. And then I have a series of logic gates these are uh, flip-flops that uh, are just connected sequentially. And the cool thing about this program is you can uh, open up the modules and you can actually see the Verilog uh, logic that's written there. So this is a little tiny segment. It's a Verilog module. Uh, and it's just saying on the positive edge uh, of the clock, make Q, which is the output. Uh, make it connect to D and gosh I don't really understand the language a whole lot but this is a certain logic code that says it's a D flip-flop anyway huh I like that so um, flip-flops are tied together the output of the flip-flop is tied together again and again so it'll it'll sort of pass one bit this is a one in the next moment, it, the next clock cycle, the bit is passed to this, it's passed to that, passed to that, passed to that. And the last one, it carries over, goes through this uh, uh, or, either or, and, and starts over again. This stuff here is just to prime it. This gives it the very first bit to start it. So here's a one and a flip-flop uh, and uh, Basically, on the first clock cycle, uh, it goes from being a zero here to being a one there. The, after after it goes through the first cycle, this becomes a, a one and this becomes a permanent zero. So this is only used on the very first step to stick a bit in and then the rest cascades around and around. And then each of these goes to an output pin of my choice. And I uploaded it to the FPGA. And here's what I got. Got the button plugged into those pins. And there's a six LED chaser going. Notice you, you doesn't do anything when you hold it down because it's just on the rising edge of the clock pulse and the switch is acting as the clock. And the cool thing is it's um here I, well it's it's not uh it's not emulating uh, flip-flops at all. It's actually given me access to some flip-flops that are wired together. So pretty darn cool. This could, if I could press this fast enough, this hardware would operate in the uh, tens of megahertz because there's no, there's really no clock to speak of. It's just electronic hardware. Cool.